Welcome to the presentation. Because there are a variety of solves of Jefferson, please ensure that when you are calling down to SPCC, you are asking for the Cardiac Striker Power 7 Sternal Sol, and you want to make sure this is complete. So, when calling for this sol, make sure that you're also calling for the Striker Power 7 Small Battery. Now this tray is only considered complete if it comes with two items. The first item that you're looking for is the striker saw handpiece. The second item is the blade guard right here. Without these two items, this tray is unusable. Now let's go over the safety features on the striker sternal saw. You're going to see two different arrows on either side. In the middle of those arrows, you'll find a button. When the button lies in a completely neutral position, not pushed to either side, this is your safety. You can tell when you try to depress the trigger, it is unable to go anywhere. If it is pushed to the side in any way, the safety feature will allow you to push the button on the trigger. So the other components needed for assembly of the Striker Power 7 is the small battery, and you will also be using the Striker sternum blade, which looks exactly like this. So to begin assembly, you wanna first insert the battery, just kidding, absolutely not. The battery will never be the first step in assembly. Your power source will always be your last step in assembly and removing it will always be your first step in disassembly. Assembly actually begins with ensuring that the safety mechanism is on. So, in order to load the blade, there is a butterfly attachment at the end of the saw handpiece. You want to rotate this attachment so that the crosshairs all line up. And you want to ensure that the blade is able to go into those crosshairs without resistance. Remember, when it comes to loading the blade, you are loading the saw blade up or down, never side to side. The blade guard is absolutely necessary for the functionality of this saw. In order to load it, there is a second twisting mechanism. You are going to twist and ensure that the blade guard is seated firmly in place, release the twisting mechanism, and always check that this is secure by pulling on the blunt end side of the blade. Please remember, if you load the blade guard the other way, where it's covering the serrated edge of the saw blade, you will be cutting nothing. The last step in assembly is loading the battery. If you are going to hand the saw off at this point, make sure that you are able to tell the surgeon safety on. In an emergency situation, you will have to test the blade beforehand and hand the surgeon a live blade. Make sure you're telling the surgeon which way the saw blade is loaded, blade up or blade down, or if the safety is on or off. And now for disassembly, start by twisting the blade guard. Just kidding, absolutely not again. No. The first step that you will take is disengaging the power source. That battery comes out. You can then move down to the blade guard using that twisting mechanism to disengage and the same with the sternal saw blade. It should come out by twisting the butterfly apparatus at the end of the handpiece. Congratulations everyone, you have fully disassembled your striker saw. But what if your saw doesn't work? Your alternative is the Lebsky knife and a mallet. These can be found on every general emergency cart, and they are also stocked in the ERLR. In an absolute emergency when no saw is available, this Lechki knife and a mallet are what you are going to use to help crack the sternum and open the chest. There are three components of the Lechki knife that you should know. The first part is the handle. This is the top portion of the knife. This is the area that is held by the surgeon. At the very bottom of this knife is a notch. This is what the surgeon will use to place underneath of the sternum. Then lastly, on the opposite side of the blade is a flat portion. This is known as the strike pad. This is what the surgeon will use to hit with the mallet. 